So this is taken from the book, Moment of Peace for a Woman's Heart, Reflections of God's Gifts of Love, Hope, and Comfort. This is by, I think, Bethany House. So I'm just sharing this right now. The head-in for today, it says, Someone worth knowing. Skilled living gets its start in the fear of God. Insight into life from knowing a holy God. Proverbs 9, verse 10, and this is the message version. Imagine you've made a new friend. Wouldn't that be nice? You want to learn all about the new person in your life. You can't wait for conversations to begin. God is also a friend worth knowing. Unlike the wooden statues some worship, he is accessible. He really is. He wants to be known. God, please, I'm here ready to know you. Reveal yourself to me, please, God. He's told you all about himself and his word, and he waits enthusiastically for the dialogue to begin. If your heart longs to know him, to grasp who he really is and what he wants from you, sit down with an open heart and an open Bible and get to know the God of the universe who loves you with an everlasting love. This is a prayer there. Wonderful Father, thank you for reaching out to me and opening the door to a loving, everlasting relationship between the two of us. Thank you for allowing me to know you. Amen. There's a scripture here. It says, thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumphal possession, um, procession and through us spreads in every place the fragrance that comes from knowing him. Uh, that's the NRSV version. I've never really heard of that version. And it's uh, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14. You know, I was literally just here. God, you, you, who am I supposed to talk to? What want me to do? Who can I call? I'm not calling Ghostbusters, no pun intended. But who am I supposed to call and talk to? Like, I can't pick up the phone and call anyone because everyone that I've ever literally poured out my heart to and trusted they have let me down or I have let them down and I felt the relationship was too broken to be fixed. I honestly, it's like there was nothing worth, you know, sometimes there are relationships that you or friendships that you go through and, you know, maybe the individual kind of like did something unknowingly or maybe they didn't call you or, or something, right? Then that can be mend, I think. But there are relationships where it's like individuals have deliberately done things to you, have deliberately said things to you that were so out of pocket, that were so hurtful, that there's no need for you to even try and be am amicable. Like, yeah, I'll forgive you, right? But I can't allow you back in my life because of not even fear that you'd hurt me, but trauma, like you're triggered each moment, you think of the things that the individual has done to you. So it's best just, okay, just let it be, let it go and it's done. I forgive you, I love you from a distance, but I just would rather not communicate with you again. And it's interesting because I was literally thinking about this where I'm like, okay, God, there's so much on my mind that I wanna, you know, get off and kind of have like a literally you know, conversation, I'm talking and you're reciprocating, you're responding to me, you're, you know, I'd like that. And <laughs> God led me to this book that I haven't touched in a while. This might be a series that I'm, I'm going to do on my channel. I don't know how far I'm going to make it into it, but what I intend to do is just, you know, just read a page from it and maybe share uh, some insight or my insight on it. And uh, we'll go from there. That's a really good book by Bethany House. One of the things that, you know, uh she takes it talks about is it's in proverbs let me see if i can find it here proverbs 9 verse 10 the message version of the 10 says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of holy the holy one is insight to have the fear of the lord it's literally that's the beginning of wisdom right to have insight on life to kind of know why certain things happen the way they do is basically having the Holy Spirit within us to allow us to know, right? Because God gives us that understanding to know that his Holy Spirit is within us, revealing us his truth. Glory be to God. Thank God for that. 
And one of the things is that it talks about, you know, imagine make you made a new friend. And I just find that interesting because that was literally what I just thought about. God is my witness. I just thought, I'm like, God, it's not like I have a friend to discuss all the issues because there's some issues that, you know, I'm going through. And a lot of times what I, I, I found I would do before in my not so wise years, but thank God we go through things and we learn from them. Amen. And that is why this <laughs> channel strictly, I, you know, my quote is basically this, all that God has brought me through, bringing me through and how I'm sure he can do the same for you. So there are situations in life we go through back then when I would, uh, anything that would happen, I was so quick to pick up the phone. Hey, you know, this happened, that happened. And the more we do that, instead of taking it to God first and then allowing God to kind of filter it out, like taking away the hurt from us, because once that hurt is attached to that thing that we're sharing with others, it's almost as if it's, releasing some sort of negativity or some toxicity and then it kind of like if you don't if you're not strong in your faith or if that individual is not strong in their faith and that relationship is not built on christ the foundation of that relationship is not built on christ and you will find that the enemy almost literally plants seeds inside both your hearts because you're going to reap back what you sow negativity spreads very quickly right so it's like I'm having a bad day, I share it with you, and then you become negative. And then before you know it, you're talking about bad things, and then back and forth, back and forth, we're saying bad things. And then before you know it, it's almost like I'm turning you away from speaking to me, or you are building up hatred toward me because you're like, well, you're too negative or something, right? As opposed to now I'm realizing Holy Spirit living within me, the knowledge of God and Him revealing things to me. It's like, bring it to me first, okay? Bring it to me first so I can heal you, so I can allow you to know what to say. So in spite of what you are going through, in spite of you having not such a great day, I can heal your heart first. I can wrap up the wounds of the hurt that you've gone through for the day. And then I can allow you to know how to speak to your friend that you're going to call on the phone in a heal one-on-one -on -one dialogue, right? So I'm sharing this with you today and I'm hoping that you're not looking at your situation like, man, I have no friends. It's sad because, you know, no one is an island. But there's sometimes that God places us in a season where he's like, I want you to be healed first before I allow you to be uh, and have uh, more friendships. I want you to understand the importance of spending time with me first right? So I can love you, so I can heal you, so I can know, allow you to know how to operate from a place of love. Because if we're not operating from a place of love, then all that we're doing is we're pewing like venomous poison, uh, a little spews of negativity. And before we know it, it's already sowed a seed in our hearts. And you find that there are times that you're calling that individual, they're not responding or you just feel that individual is calling you and you don't want to answer them because, oh, they're going to be this. So instead of looking at, I don't have this friend and I wish I had friends, let us take this moment to say, God, you know what? Thank you for the friends that you have kind of separated me from in this season. Help me to become a better person so that way when you do allow for me to have godly kingdom friends in my life i will know how to love on them i will know how to draw from you and and um, pour into them right so that i'll never feel drained as if i need their approval to strengthen me so that way i will feel complete no i'm drawing from the source i'm plugged in and connected to the source so i'm able to pour into you love patience the fruit of the spirit which is what god will give to us once we draw closer to him so i pray that we will spend our time <laughs> when we're trying to figure out life when we're trying to oh god what's the next step we will spend our time just like the word here says someone worth knowing we'll spend our time trying to seek that someone who's worth knowing and that someone is god i also like what it says right here it says if your heart longs to know him to grasp whom he really is and what he wants from you sit down with an open heart and an open bible 
and get to know the God of the universe. You know, there's a lot of people that worship the universe. I don't know about you, but I, I want I want bigger. I want the one that created the universe, the galaxies and the billions and trillions of stars, you know? That's the God I want, right? Because that's the God who loves us with an everlasting love. I hope that this was a blessing to you. And by God's grace, you'll stop by for my next video. Until then, take care. God bless. Bye.